Hello and welcome. So this is Noella Moga with Taste of South Sudan. Today we are baking cookies for Christmas. I am going to be sharing with you a recipe for Sudanese kak. So during Christmas or Easter, all the families in South Sudan will be baking homemade cookies and biscuits. One of my favorite one is that of Sudanese kak. This cookie is crumbly, crunchy, it's not too sweet and most importantly it doesn't use any butter that needs to be refrigerated instead we're going to be using ghee also it's going to be dusted in sugar so our ingredients for Sudanese kak um, we're going to be having eight cups of flour one cup of yogurt three cups of ghee and sesame seeds, sugar, some ground cardam cardamom seeds, vanilla essence, anise essence, and baking powder. Now, this is the container for the G. That's what it looks like. So you have to melt this on the stove or in the microwave. And this is the G melted. And then this is the yogurt. We use plain yogurt without sugar. And that's what I have here, one cup of plain yogurt. So to make our Sudanese kak, we're gonna add the G in our whisking bowl here. Next, we'll add the yogurt into the bowl. Set it back and we'll start mixing it. Now I'm going to add the baking powder onto the flour and I need one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, add our salt, we need one teaspoon of salt. and my sesame seeds and the cardamom powdered cardamom seeds just mix this in here okay we are going to add our some of our flavorings i have one tablespoon of vanilla and one tablespoon of anise extract now that's a little bit more Traditional flavorings for cat, vanilla, anise, cardamom, cloves, fennel, um, and also mahlab. All those we can add to get us a nice smelling cat. I'll go back to mixing uh, my G and yogurt. I am going to start adding my dry ingredients to the liquid ingredients. Add additional flour. I have changed my whisk to this one, which is for dough, since my dough is now a little bit thicker. We are going to finish mixing this by hand. This is the dough for our Sudanese kak. Okay, the dough for cake is ready. I'm going to cover it, let it sit for 30 minutes so the baking powder can have a chance to act. And then we will bake. Um, it is ready and we are going to start rolling them. The Sudanese cake is also called cake nine. So just grab, grab a section, lay it flat, grab your roller, and start rolling. Now 
we're going to use a couple of shapes. So I have here a flower shape. Now the Sudanese cac, um, it does not need to be too thin. We prefer it a little bit thick. So I will start off by using a flower shape. Can I get two out of this? I'm not so sure. I'll use a heart. Transfer them. Okay, so I'm going to show you how, um, how in South Sudan we actually make these cookies. If you don't have cookie cutters, you can use a glass. Now, I wish I had a smaller, smaller diameter glass, because this is what I'll be doing. I'll be cutting half moons with the glass. Okay, so we are going to make some heart shapes next. Well, you get the idea, guys. Just keep rolling the dough, making shapes, and transferring them over to your baking sheet. This is our Sudanese cake, um, ready to go in our oven. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 11 to 15 minutes until they start to turn golden. Okay, our Sudanese cake has baked for a little bit more than 15 minutes. I am transferring them to a cooling rack and once they have cooled down, we'll be spreading some icing sugar on it. This is our second tray. So this one, they were a little bit more dark than I would like them to be. But this is the perfect end baking result. Still very hot. So I will let this cool down a little bit, then I'll transfer it to a cooling rack. The last step in making our Sudanese cake is that we are going to sprinkle icing sugar. This is how I do it. So this is Noella with Taste of South Sudan. We have finished making our Sudanese kak sugar coated, sugar coated cookies. They are here and I am going to share with you a sample that I've made earlier and these ones are smaller shapes. These are ones that have cooled down. You want to try some honey? Yeah. Here we go. Taste of South Sudan sugar coated cookies for Christmas, Eid, Ramadan, Easter, for your wedding, for your birthday party as a gift for your boyfriend or your husband or for anyone you want to make them and give them to. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Subscribe. Taste of South Sudan.